Ohm's law. In 1827, a German physicist, George Simon Ohm, proposed a law that explains the relationship between voltage, current and resistance in an electrical circuit. Voltage V is like the push or force that makes electric charges move through a circuit. Current I is the flow of electric charges through the circuit. Resistance R, it is the property of the conductor to resist the flow of charges through it. Means, resistance slows down the flow of electric charges. Ohm's law states that the current I in a circuit is directly proportional to the voltage V and inversely proportional to the resistance R. In simple terms, if you increase the voltage, the current increases. If you increase the resistance, the current decreases. Mathematically, Ohm's law is written as V equal to I into R or I equal to V by R, where V is the voltage, I is the current and R is the resistance. So if you know any two of these values, you can calculate the third one. Let us see how to verify Ohm's law with lab setup. To verify Ohm's law, we need few cells, a cell holder, a conductor and an ammeter to measure the electric current and an voltmeter to measure the potential difference or voltage. Now connect the circuit and place only one cell in the cell holder. Let us note down the readings in the voltmeter and in ammeter. Write these values in a table. Now let us add one more cell to the battery and note down the readings. Take the readings with three cells and next with four cells. Now let us observe the table and the values recorded. Now plot these values on a graph having current flow on x-axis and potential difference or voltage on y-axis. With one cell, the current value is 0.15 and voltage is 0.3 and with two cells, the current value is 0.25 and voltage is 0.5. With three cells, the current is 0.375 and voltage is 0.75. With four cells, the current is 0.5 and voltage is 1.0. So we have plotted these values on the graph. Now the VI graph has a straight line passing through the origin which indicates that V is proportional to I or V by I is constant. What is that constant? That is nothing but resistance R. So V by I equal to R. V equal to I R or we can write I equal to V by R. Now let us know some more details about resistance. The SI unit of resistance is Ohm. It is represented by the Greek letter Omega. If the potential difference across two ends of a conductor is 1 volt and the current through it is 1 amperes, then the resistance R of the conductor will be 1 Ohm. That is 1 Ohm equal to 1 volt by 1 ampere. If the resistance increases, the current passing through the conductor decreases. If the resistance is doubled, the current becomes half. Sometimes it is necessary to control the current in a circuit without changing the voltage source. In this situation, a compound called variable resistance or rheostat is used to adjust the current in a circuit. Rheostat is commonly used in electric circuits to change the resistance and control the current. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends.